A letter of instruction by Joseph Smith III The Saints Herald, March 13, 1912 Introduction In presenting the following letter of instruction, to the readers of the Herald, I have deemed it advisable to do so by a series of questions, having in consideration the subject matter of the position, privilege, and duty of the Quorum of the First Presidency in its several parts contingent upon the death or deposition for cause of the President of the Church, denominated in the law as the President of the High Priesthood. In answering the several questions the following premises should be remembered and observed. First, priesthood, delegated authority, is conferred for the expressed purpose of accomplishing, by human means, the work of the divine mind, for the benefit of mankind. Second, office in the priesthood is intended to designate the general and specific work that the individual called, chosen, and ordained to the office is to do. Third, office in the priesthood is not conferred to increase the importance of the individual or as a means to self-aggrandizement or personal emolument. Fourth, all offices in the priesthood are equal in honor before God, the honor of each as to the individual holder resulting from the manner in which the duties of the office are performed. This is evident from a consideration of the statement made by the Apostle Paul, For ye see your calling, brethren, how that not many wise men after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble, are called, that no flesh should glory in his presence. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 26, 29. Fifth, it is equally essential to remember, that in using the terms, called, appointed, chosen, and, ordained, referring to any person, chosen and ordained by the body to any office in the priesthood, the worthiness, fitness, and qualifications to act in such office should be understood and conceded without a constant repetition of these terms. Sixth, it is the axiom of the Church, that persons ordained to office in the Church are so ordained because they are called of God by revelation. This follows the injunction of Paul to the Hebrew brethren, and no man taketh this honor unto himself, but he that is called of God, Hebrews chapter 5 verse 4. 